Hey folks, Alex Beef now here. I am doing today another uh, unboxing for you. Uh, another uh, Amiibo card unboxing. I got these at Target. Um, if you have Target near you, run, do not walk. They are like six bucks a pack. I was finding them for ten bucks on Amazon, and I don't even know how much GameStop had them for. The only thing is, um, you have to have an associate uh, free them from the peg for you, shorty, please. You have to have an associate come and free them from the peg because you know it has this little locky thing on it. Um, Target, uh, just a little word of advice here. Can you not? <laughs> little word of advice. If you really want people to not rip these off, put them in the locked case with the 3DS systems because if someone really wanted to get to these, um, all they really have to do, this is, I don't know if you noticed, this is paper. And you know what paper does? It does this. Yeah, so if someone really wanted to be a dick bad enough and rip off all your Amiibo cards, all they have to do is take a little blade and open that up. All you're doing is making life more annoying for the people who actually paid for these legit, you know, most like, much like many um, DRM forms. Um, anyway, that's a whole different rant. All right, so last time I, I made a big show out of, I thought this was clear plastic, taking them out of the envelope. Taking them out of, the out of the plastic, out of the foil, putting them back in the envelope so I couldn't see them. Well, it turns out I don't have to do that because they're in this nice opaque uh, pouch here. So, I am going to avert my eyes as I open it. <sighs> Maybe. So. There we go. Got it. Got the other one popped right open. All right. <laughs> Shorty! Oh, God. Huh. Someone needs a nail trim real bad. Okay. Shorty, honey, you gotta get out of the way. I love you. <laughs> get, get your tail out of here. Go on. Okay. Let's see. Who do we have here? And hopefully I'll get some villagers that I've had before, because I've got some amusing stories about some of them. Bertha. I have never had Bertha. Bertha is a hippopotamus. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, so it's kind of a cute hippopotamus. Who do we have here? Bella. Bertha and Bella. Also, never had Bella. Uh, Shorty, can you not, please? Um, Midge? I, I've never even heard of Midge. Why do you have to give me all these villagers I've never had? Midge's nickname, uh, one of Midge's other names is Paloma. That makes sense. Let's see. Um, bon Bon. <laughs> I got nothing. Um, didn't I have, um, I want to say Bon Bon has been in my village at some point, but didn't, I don't, I don't know. If she was a visitor, I don't know. So I'm down to two, and um, I've got no amusing stories here. That's not the shiny one. Bob. <laughs> I've had Bob. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bob was the stoner cat. Um, I mean, just kind of arbitrarily decided. I No, no, not you. Not you, shorty. Bob, um, Bob was growing nip in the backyard, and... Uh, Bob had some really, really good quality catnip too. It was awesome. But yeah, I had his, uh, I kept sending him the most hippie like furniture I could find, and, which wasn't much, unfortunately, and getting him, yeah, with some good stoner music. But, okay, so that, um, the only card left is the other be the special. And, um, oh, hell yes. Last time I got Digby, this time I got Isabel. Oh, that is nice. Oh. Mm. I'm hoping for KK Slider or Rossetti, but you know what? I will take Isabel. Awesome. Okay. Um, so, okay. Last time I promised I would, um, I, I would uh, tell you the story of the gay birds in my wild world village. <laughs> so I had Goose and Bill, right? I had Goose and Bill. And it became apparent early on that, um, there was something going on with these two birds because they always hung out together. They were always walking around together with the little happy notes over their heads. 
uh, they would wear the same clothing all the time. I'd always see them over at each other's houses. They don't, they keep asking me to take presents to each other. Um, so uh, every once in a while one of them would threaten to move out and so I would have to go and convince him to please not and write him letters saying, write the other one a letter saying, uh, dude, your, your boyfriend is about to move, you better do something about that. So yeah, Goose and Bill uh, stayed together in my village for a long time. Um, they were they were a fixture. They were a, a landmark in my Wild World village, and they were <laughs> bird friends. Yeah. Okay, folks. Well, I'm going to to uh, I've got some houses to design, and uh, I'm going to do some more of these, and hopefully I'll get more villagers that I've had. So I will see you next time, folks. Bye bye.